Teaching is a really rewarding profession because you get to help people along their own journey of discovery, not just discovering the material or the career path that they're interested in, but also discovering themselves. Really, I didn't start using my platform to really uh, attract young people to science until I went back to campus in the fall semester of 2020. And a few of my students were like, I saw your video. This is so cool. We should collaborate. People really got to see Oh, and I had a window into how I interact with my students, how I mentored them, how I pushed them, and also how I exist as, as a queer Black scientist in, in, in STEM, which is something that's not a very common thing to see. I have a variety of students who participate in this, um, students who work in my research lab, students I have in my classes, students who are not, but are also interested in science and really want to participate in our community. I think being vulnerable myself on social media by being present and being visibly myself definitely had an impact on people, my students, and not just my students, but I found people across the country and the globe. By being vulnerable, I'm inviting them in, right? I'm showcasing some of who I am. And so they get, they feel a lot more comfortable to show more of themselves. If we look at STEM currently, right, we don't have a, a high number of, of, of people from historically marginalized groups in STEM. And that's been a challenge over the decades. And when you look up from the outside into science, you really see an alienating space, right? One that is very very cookie cutter. And so I think by redefining the space and not just the physical space, but also how we exist in the space, what I'm hoping to do is to invite others in, right? And so that we can kind of challenge this normative culture in STEM that I think will open doors for those who've often felt um, like this isn't a space for them to come in. I chose to become a chemistry major because I wanted to help build the molecules to help build the future. Okay, all right. You can have a balanced life and be an excellent scientist. You do not have to lose who you are. And so I want students to realize that what they bring to the table is an asset. Science is stronger when we all bring our unique perspectives, when we have a diverse group of people. And the only way we're gonna bring that to bear is if we allow people to be their, their full selves in, in scientific spaces.